after a piece for the Ugly Duckling competition. Corey over on Desert DIY is the host. Thank you so much, Corey, for opening this up. It's a competition this time, you guys. Uh, so I've got to find the ugliest piece of furniture in there and give it a makeover. So let's go shopping. I'm at my favorite restore. I have not been here in a little while, so I'm hoping that their inventory is full. <laughs> There's a man in front, he's looking at me because it's turning to my camera. Okay, you guys. That was amazing. It's an Art Deco piece. It is rough, you guys. I have plans already for it and it was five bucks. Five dollars, that's gonna help with my budget. Not that there's a budget, there's no budget in this competition. So, with that, let's get into the video. Let's appreciate together just <laughs> how rough this guy is. I mean, there's no way I'm gonna save this. I wasn't even planning on it, but I think I can remove all of that. The handles, I don't know, maybe. We'll see if I can save them. Um, I think I might be able to, but we'll see. The feet need some patching, possibly. We'll see what I can do with some sanding. The veneer on this is also in rough shape, but I'm going to smooth it over, patch it with some Bondo, I'm painting the sides, staining the top. Since I'll be taking all the veneer off, I'm see what the wood's like underneath. Maybe I'll stain that too. As per usual, I'm going to give this piece a clean. And today I'm going to be using my Dawn Power Wash Dish Spray. Oh my word, why can't I say that? Dish Spray. Painted by Nanny, a friend of mine over on Instagram. You could go give her a follow. Suggested this and I'm gonna give it a try today. This piece, I'm not gonna worry about the front because I am removing all the veneer, but the rest of it and the back and the underneath and inside and all of that sort of stuff needs a thorough cleaning and then I'm gonna rinse it with some water. There are so many things in 
these. I've got a lot of them out, but there's a lot left. So, just gonna skim it. And not only this side, but there's a chunk, uh, three chunks actually, out, missing out. Right, so, grabbing my Bondo. I'm gonna mix that up. So while I'm letting the Bondo dry, I am going to answer my text. Okay. I'm going to remove all the veneer that I can and then I'm going to be using my heat gun to get off what I can't, what doesn't just peel off. I don't think the wood, I don't think the wood under it is great wood. So these have had towel, has had a towel on it for a few hours. A wet towel, rather, not just any towel. It's coming off like a treat. Very retro piece of furniture, so it needed a retro wallpaper. And because this wood is, it's, it's build a basic, as my dad would say. The best thing to do here is put paper over the top of it, All right? We have some mustard yellow, a dark gray, a lighter gray, a cream, and this sort of looks like burlap, Dixie Belle's burlap, or um, putty. Enough talking, let's just do it. Using shellac in clear to seal the black and the sides, because that's where I'll be painting. Dries in 15 minutes. What's not to love about that? That'll seal it in. I'm gonna paint the sides and the feet. Dixie Bell burlap because the circle inside the pattern, or the oval inside the pattern, looks very similar to that. It's so hot, I am wetting my piece. Definitely going in with a damp brush. And I've given my paint a really good stir.
Okay, so I have lined the paper up on here exactly where I want it and I'm going to spray paint up here in the corner and then go along and work my way down. Gorilla spray adhesive. That was a big jump. <laughs> but I made a mistake. I, I tore a little bit of it and I wasn't happy. And there was no way I could fix it without taking it all off and redoing it. So that's what I did. Going to be much more careful this time around. I'm talking to the camera and it wasn't even on. With the $100 challenge, I bought a two pack of Mod Podge glue. I returned the unopened one and I have, they just told me to keep the open one, so I did. So I'm gonna give that a go on here. As much as I love the Gorilla Glue and it does work well, I need it to slide around a little bit more. Sometimes I'm a bull of the bull of the gate and I want to do things really quickly and things don't always um, it's not always best to work that way. So I ended up having to do that second door three times because I just wasn't happy and I kept tearing it, but I discovered a way to do it and the way to do it was how I just did that one lay the glue down, lay the paper on, pull the drawer out, let it sit and dry. Then once that's done, give it a give it a good 30 minutes to dry, to, to stick down. Then I'll sandpaper the edges off and it works like a charm. Now, this drawer is the only drawer that had, looked like it had some sort of water damage. What you just saw me do was dismantle the drawer. What I'm going to do now that I've sanded it, sanded both sides, is flip it over. So what was the underneath will now be the inside of the drawer and what was the inside before now will become the underneath. 
to put all of this back together again I'm going to be using my Starbond gap filler in thick it is a thicker adhesive they have thin and medium they also it also comes in colors I believe it comes in clear and brown uh, it could come in other colors but you can go and check out their website I will have a link down below I tried out their glues several times now in a in a couple of videos and I absolutely love them they are a great instant adhesive if you need something that dries a little faster than uh, tight bond or something like that then this is the glue for you right so I am going to glue down the remainder of the veneer that feels a little bubbly feels a little loose this is going to be the underneath but there's some movement and I don't want it to move so I'm going to pop my glue under there and if you just want it to go just a little bit faster this is my kind of stuff I fast moving <laughs> so I love this sort of stuff Super quick, easy fix. All you have to do is have a little bit of time, a little bit of glue, and to just flip over. Sometimes they're not, you have to replace the whole thing. Other times it's still in really good condition. All, it need, all you need to do is just flip it and then there's no cutting of plywood involved or measurements or anything. Uh, I love that solution. That's a great solution. All right, let's keep going. Retro style is not really a style that I usually gravitate towards, but I'm so glad that I did. I'm so glad that I took the chance on it and I really couldn't pass up $5. I mean, five bucks for a piece of furniture. Nobody wanted it. It was dented and scratched and the veneer in the front was had so many cracks in it and missing parts. You know, people out there who feel very strongly about vintage and retro pieces not being touched and the wood being just restored but there was just no saving that veneer 
So I fully embraced the retro and got this retro inspired wallpaper from Amazon and I'm so glad that I did. It has turned out really lovely. I like it. It's definitely a certain style. Uh, it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea but I'm still, I don't regret doing it. I really enjoyed it and had a really great time. Thank you again, Corey, for opening this up, that I got to be a part of this competition. It's, it's a lot of fun and I'm enjoying uh, this journey. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, come and subscribe. That would be amazing. So I hope to see you guys on next week's piece. Bye guys.